So in science in general, scientific publications are the currency by which scientists communicate with each other. Animology, science in general, is a collaborative exercise. We each build on, on what's come before. We like to take, take it a step or two further, and we share our knowledge through publication. As a graduate student, you're encouraged to publish your research, your thesis. It's very, um, a very important part of it. And then again, um, working in a lab, a lot of research, the end point is to publish so you get the word out there. And so in the scientific community, is very important. We, we create our own little puzzle piece and we place it into that giant jigsaw puzzle of, of science, giant jigsaw puzzle of entomology. And, and without the publishing, you don't really contribute to science. Oh yeah, I've always used ESA journals. And, and they're the journals for the Entomological Society of America. So I think of them as really the kind of the subject, the subject journals for entomology. Absolutely. So both uh, following what my colleagues are doing as well as, as well as publishing in them. ESA journals are my primary way to publish research and also with extension through JIPM. Um, it's where I go to first and just because I think that's where I get the most impact and the, the people that are having like research I think are reading those journals too. I do find more and more that the, the papers I'm picking up are in journals that actually are published through the ESA. When I go out to give extension talks, especially to industry type groups, that you know, like pest control operators, a lot of them are very much on the cutting edge of new products and things that are available, tools that are available to them. And so we need to use the, the new the published uh, articles on the new science to help kind of maybe even stay a step ahead of what they're getting from sales folks. So it, it really helps us to know what the latest science is.